Now, if you were anything like me back when all this drama about Roe v. Wade was going on a few weeks ago, you'd be forgiven for wondering what all the fuss was about. I didn't even know Yanks were that bothered about tennis, to be honest. But apparently, Roe v. Wade was nothing to do with sport, and I was getting them mixed up with Bork v. McEnroe. I thought it was strange, people talking about Shia LaBeouf getting an abortion. I was like, what the fuck? Who would shag this guy? He even puts paper bags on his own bloody head. So you can imagine how much of a right wally I felt to find out that Roe v. Wade was actually a 1973 Supreme Court ruling, which granted a woman's right to choose whether or not they had an abortion, as opposed to outright banning it across the board. And all these hysterics were actually because the Scrotus was thinking of overturning said bill, which would effectively allow state governors to decide whether or not a woman can have their own spawn sucked out their fanny by a mini Henry Hoover. Or however they do it nowadays. And according to a new leak, Justice Alito is thinking of ripping up the almost 50 year old protection bill and throwing women's rights to the wind. And that's just one of the shocking consequences that overturning this crucial ruling would have. So with that in mind, here's a few more reasons why we need to be incredibly worried. First and foremost, we're not a nation of biologists. So I'm not a biologist. The and neither are state governors. We can't possibly know what a woman is, and neither can they, God damn it. But don't worry, because I trust Joe Biden knows. That geezer can sniff out a clunge within 50 metres. Especially if they're prepubescent. I assume because of all the pheromones and that, rather than just being a nonce. But anyway, the power to suss out the sexes should remain with the Fed, as only they have the wisdom to differentiate between a sweaty sausage and a fish taco. I mean, do you really want Governor Fascist DeSantis deciding what's best for your daughter? Or even if you have a daughter in the first place? Because that's where this is going, folks. Today, it's banning abortion. Tomorrow, it's, okay, fine, you can have your abortion, but oh, whoopsie, turns out you don't have a daughter because we're totally Nazis and don't recognise your trans daughter as a woman in the first place. And performing an abortion on a bloke with a cock is not practical, feasible, or remotely necessary. I mean, these people are sick. We cannot give these red state government authoritarians the power to unilaterally determine what's best for the people. Only the Fed should be able to decide that, and only when a Democrat is in office. True international average of pressure. Secondly, women's protections previously guaranteed in law will be gone overnight. The right not to discriminate has been cherished in our human rights agenda for years, and just like we now don't discriminate against men who identify as women using women's single-sex bathrooms, neither should we allow these fascist governors to flippantly discriminate against women being able to terminate fetuses they didn't want in the first place. And just as an aside on this point, it's not women's fault they got impregnated when they took all necessary precautions against it. Like having bum fun, but with a guy whose load is so huge it drips down into the no-no zone, and them speedy buggers make a swim for it up the pink canal. How could you possibly protect against that? I mean, I suppose you could go do the whole celibacy thing, but I had an ex-girlfriend who tried to go down that route. The poor lass tried being a nun for a few months, but then priests are only bastards behind closed doors and kept taking her up the pews when God shut his eyes to rest on a Sunday morning. Uh, yeah, where was I going with this? Oh, right, yeah, women losing protections and maybe having to start taking personal responsibility and shit. Well, that's just totally unacceptable, God damn it. Allowing these gammony old white blokes to dictate what happens to women's bodies sets a nasty precedent for the Supreme Court to start thinking it can just overturn anything willy-nilly. Especially if it's a bill in favour of the willy. Am I right, sisters? Oh, what's that? There's women on the scrotus and all? Even one with a suntan? Blimey. Uh, uh, well, that changes nothing. As we've already established... Women aren't biologists and can in no way be expected to define what they are themselves, let alone be expected to rule on a bill that will decree how a woman lives her lives and uses her body. Y you shut up, bigot! <laughs> ah, ugh. At the end of the day, if this bloody thing is overturned, there will be mass riots and chaos erupting all over the country, especially in blue states, even though they are precisely the states where nothing at all will change. But for the sake of the country's health, unity and soul, we need to just accept the current laws how they are even if we don't all agree on them. Because it's just too much hassle to undo the dodgy ones simply on account of just being, quote, controversial. Especially if people are going to have an epi over it all. Nah, Roe v. Wade is settled law, bro. I thought we had settled this. I thought this matter had been settled. Just accept it and move on. 
But that one about needing voter ID totally needs to be protested, stopped and crushed into oblivion. Ditto the ones about freedom of speech, protecting gun rights, and all them pesky libertarian laws being enshrined in that dirty constitution rag. Another reason to drop this outrageous rethinking of the Roe v. Wade decision is because it's literally murder not to do so. According to trusted sources like CNN and my far-left feminist college professor over in Portland, many women die in backstreet abortions and will also commit suicide if the option to suck out that sucker is not available to them safely and legally. This is especially true for women of colour, and thus removing such access is literally a death sentence. I cannot overstate this enough, so let me emphasise for those at the back. They are legit trying to genocide black people. Now in any other country, this would be a complete outrage, and in my humble opinion, even the military should be rolling out at this point, setting up perimeters around Planned Parenthood centres and aborting anyone who comes to try and shut them down. But fantasies of an ideal world aside, the fascist Republicans should just shut up and get out of the way, and allow these stunning and brave women to gain access to safe abortions so they can continue aborting their own race. That is how choice and democracy works, goddammit. <clears throat> Finally, we all have to understand that if Roe v. Wade is indeed overturned, it will literally be the end of the world as we know it. Like seriously, I can't even tell you what a world without abortion looks like. The earth will be overrun with conservatives, maggots and children of colour. <laughs> Us liberals will have no choice but to be more careful with whom we have sex with, how often we do it and have to take personal responsibility to engage in safe sex. Is this a world we really want to live in? Because I'm telling you, the only ones to benefit from all this will be condom makers, pill-popping big pharma companies, and them extremist Christian terrorists who just don't want clumps of cells to be torn apart in the womb. <laughs> Justice Alito really needs to think about all this very seriously, because he has the power to either uphold the protection of pregnant people worldwide, or ensure the erasure of birthing units for generations to come. You know, I blame RBG for all this. If badass Jinsi was still around, she'd have stuck up for her principles and led the fight for women everywhere. But no, she was so selfish she had to go and croak barely two years before we really needed her. Talk about letting your sisters down, bro. <sighs> but I digress. At the end of the day, this is an American issue. And as a limey Brit, I suppose I can't really have too much of a say on the matter. Uh, unless I can identify as a Yankee boy now. Is... Is that acceptable yet, or do we like have to wait before things like transracialism and transaging become a thing, so we can then legit become transnational too? Ultimately, I have to hope justice will prevail. And by that I mean Justice Alito and all his other bunch of scrotes will do the right thing, and leave the original bill on women's rights be. We should say to this Alito fellow the same thing that Pelosi once said to Joe Biden, when she found him sniffing the scalps of a bunch of amused brownies. Back up slowly, son, and leave them bloody girls alone. Ooh. <laughs> now, if you like it, like it, you press to like it. Wanna subscribe it, you press subscribe it. Job, Job done. done.